started a vending machine in micromarket business a couple months ago, and the number one question that I am always asked hey, is- I have a question. Morgan Freeman? Yeah, I was just wondering how to start the vending machine business. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm always getting asked. Morgan, I didn't know you were interested in vending machines like that. Yeah, I'm looking for a new side hustle. Maybe some passive income. Okay, well, whether you're looking to start passive income or a new side hustle, or you're just looking to learn about vending machines, this is the video for you because I'm gonna show you step by step how I started a vending machine business from scratch. I'm not one to keep you waiting, so let's get right into it while we shop for some vending machine product. The very first step when starting a vending machine business is finding a location, and this is the hardest part of the business, and there's several different ways to go about it. You can find locations by email marketing, cold calling, door knocking, and we're gonna get into all of that at the location. Let's talk a little bit more about finding locations. So here we are at one of my locations, which is a barber shop, and I bought these two machines at the same time as a vending route. I mentioned email marketing, cold calling, door knocking, which are all fantastic ways to go ahead and get some locations. This is the very first step when it comes to starting a vending machine business. But there's another way that you can jumpstart your vending machine business really quick, and this is exactly what I did when buying these two machines. So what I did when I bought these two machines was I bought a vending machine route. So a vending route is I can already establish vending machine business so let's say I have five locations and they all have machines placed at them and I'm just trying to get out of business or I just want to minimize the amount of locations I have well I can go ahead and sell all five locations with all machines included at the same time for let's say 15 20k whatever the price is some people do this when they're leaving the vending machine business entirely to retire or maybe they just want to minimize the amount of machines that they have total and in this case when i went ahead and bought this vending route i bought these two machines at this barber shop for 3500 total buying and selling routes alone is a really great way to make money too that's just how i got these and one of the ways that you can find locations but like i mentioned before let's talk about the cold calling door knocking email marketing network all those things so when it comes to reaching out to businesses and trying to persuade them to let you put your vending machines in it's all about being confident in the service that you're offering when you're reaching out to these places the first thing you should ask is if they already have vending machines placed and if they do then you ask to see if they're happy with the service and if they'd be willing to try something new but if they don't have machines this is where you can sell them on how great it is to have drinks and snacks readily available to their customers and to their employees this is a service that's fully run by you and it's completely free to them this brings up the question that I get all the time which is Brianna do you have to pay these businesses commissions and the answer is no you do not have to pay these businesses commissions yes if it comes up we'll talk about it we'll negotiate we'll make something work but I'm not gonna bring it up if they don't bring it up and you'd be surprised with the fact that many people don't even ask I've had it happen where they thought they had to pay for my service of having many machines in there so the point of this is be confident when you're reaching out and just remember that you're providing a service to the company and that's the main thing you need to know when it comes to emailing cold calling and even door knocking. Another strategy I really like is networking. Before I even had a vending machine, I was telling everybody about my vending machine business. I was always talking about how I'm going to be buying machines and how I'm going to be placing them. And I was always trying to network with other business owners and see if anybody knew anybody who knew anybody who knew anybody. As you start growing businesses in any area, whether it be vending or something else, it's really great to start networking and growing your connections. Although I bought these two machines as a vending route, the way I found that route was through networking. I'm a real estate agent and at my real estate brokerage, I'm constantly talking to investors and other business owners. One of my other real estate agent buddies knew a guy who was really into real estate investing. Well, it turns out that this real estate investor also happened to have vending machines and he was wanting to sell this route. Since I met him through a mutual connection, we built rapport a little bit faster and he was willing to sell it to me. Boom, let's say you completed the hardest part and now you have your first location. Well, what the heck are you supposed to do next? Well, if you didn't buy a vending machine route, this is where you're gonna start buying machines. So when it comes to buying your first machines, there's multiple different routes you can go. For example, you don't have to just look at vending machines. You can also look at micro markets, which is something that I have as well. And if you want more detail on that, you can check out this video. But as far as vending machines go, vending.com is a great place to get machines and you can get financing on there as well. If you have a lower budget, other places that I would recommend are OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace. But just be aware that when you're new to vending, you're taking a higher risk by going with a used machine. Anytime anything at all goes wrong with a machine or breaks, it's gonna be a couple hundred dollars. But if I could give you any advice when shopping for used machines, it 
would be just to make sure to test them thoroughly before you go ahead and purchase. But don't get me wrong, getting a used machine can be a great way to get this business started for low cost. Side note, they love cheese to this location, so I thought I'd try these and see how they sell. Let's say you nailed down that location and you're ready to go ahead and buy your first machine, or you already went ahead and bought your first machine. Well now, step three, you need to worry about the moving. Now, depending on your budget, you can totally go and hire some movers. It might be a couple hundred bucks, or you could just find a group of friends to help you move these things around. But you are going to need some help. Because these were already placed here, I didn't have to move them, but when it came to my micro markets and moving around the fridges, it was really difficult and I needed a lot of manpower. This step is pretty self-explanatory, so we'll go ahead and move on to the next one now, which is finding product. Now, the vending machines without the product make us no money. So it's really important that we find a place to source product from that we can get product consistently and where we like the prices to where we can still make a profit. Most people I know go through Costco or Sam's or these big box stores. And me personally, I just use Sam's Club and that's where I get all my snacks and my drinks. And on occasion, I'll have to get things from Walmart because they just don't sell them at Sam's. For example, I got most of the things I needed at Sam's today, but I had to stop at Walmart to get the Sunkist and the Powerade. So now we have a location, we have our products, we have our machine place, we already got everything settled. Now what is next? The next logical step is to hit the subscribe button because it is scientifically proven that when you subscribe, your net worth goes up. I mean, you can't argue with the graph, it's science. But seriously though, I wanna leave you guys on a good note, which is that starting a vending machine business is simple, but it's not easy. Of course, with anything, there's gonna be obstacles and not everything always goes 100% Perfectly, but I want to tell you that anybody can 100% do this. If you stay persistent and really set your mind to this, then I strongly believe you can grow a very successful vending business. After all, it all comes down to how much effort you put into it. I make plenty of videos on my TikTok and Instagram where I'm cashing out my vending machines. I hope this video does help you get started and hit the ground running, but if you still need just a little more action steps, here's one more tip, which is to go ahead and start forming your LLC. If you're serious about this business, while you're looking for locations, you can go ahead and start getting your LLC form. You can do this through an attorney or through LegalZoom online. And after you do this, you can go ahead and set up your business bank account in which all your transactions will go through there for easy bookkeeping. This is just something else you can work on in the meantime. And I think it's fun to create businesses and start new logos and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, if you have any questions, please leave them down below so I can answer them in the upcoming videos. I'm trying to make some more vending content because I'm a serial entrepreneur, but it's not often that I talk about my vending machines. But if you prefer short form content, then I make tons of videos on my TikTok and my Instagram and just documenting random things that go great or random things that go wrong. Anyways, I appreciate you so much and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm out.